From Montgomery to Hill, Green County and Paris, Prussia taking on the black belt. She ain't scared. Marengo County, something County, we're cops and mama. Interviewing everybody since the brothers and mamas. It's Porsche. Uh, anyway, and she just uh, wanted to talk about this. She wanted to shed light on her husband's wrongfully conviction. And I said, absolutely. Um, I haven't done a show in a while. I've been busy uh, working. Who's that? Hey, KG, what's going on? Thank you for tuning in. Um, I appreciate you tuning in tonight. Um, and so uh, sh I said, maybe, she said, maybe we could just talk about how things are, how the two different people. So let's pull up. Uh, they're telling me that that's what I'm trying to do. Okay. She said she's trying to download the app. They're telling her that she has to download the app, so that's what she's trying to do. So just give her a few minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to pull up the um, the post from the pig Mims posted the other day. So we'll have a small discussion, and she's downloading the app. Um, and we'll have that little discussion real. Pig Lee Mims, he posted this on yesterday. And I'm going to do a screen share um, of his particular post so you guys can be able to see what I am seeing. Uh, let's see. Let me do a screen share right quick. Uh, let's do the entire screen. Okay. So you guys can see what I'm seeing. So I'm going to go over here. Uh, can you guys see the post? So right here, so he said, um, uh, he made this post. This is the photo here on your right. Can everybody see that? If you can't see what I'm showing you, let me know. I'm screaming back. Um, so am I. So am I. If you can see it, just hit the thumbs up. And I just thought it was through favor. You can just add me. You can't just add me. I can't. It's through a live stream. It don't take that long. Take that long. That's why I sent it yesterday. Okay. All right, so I'm waiting on her to do that. Oh, you can't see it. Okay, let's see. Can you see it now? Can you see it now? What about now? Can you see the picture? No. They said they cannot see the picture. Okay. So let me stop sharing. Showing stream. How about now? Can y'all see the picture now? Okay. Can y'all see it now? What about now? Can y'all see the screen? I can't see it. All right. It says shared screen. All right. All right, well, anyway, it's a picture that's out there. Uh, okay, so she's saying that she can't download it. It's taking too long to download. And then, okay. Um, so, guys, um, Okay. Um Okay. Well guys, I am Okay, I don't It's taking too long. I can't She said I guess we'll have to do it later then because it's taking too long to download. So I guess we'll have to just reschedule for another day. Um, I'm on. This is her talking to me. So people won't think I'm lying. Uh, let's do a live stream. Let, uh, let me call. Okay, let's see. Let me call. Call you. Let me, yeah. No. All right, we can do it that way. That's no problem. Let's do it that way. Let's see what's up. Let's see, can we do it this way? Can we do it this way? Can y'all hear? Oh, 
Hey. Hey. So we gonna do it. We gonna do it again, or wait? Just a little technical difficulty. Just a little technical difficulty. Uh, so. Well, whatever works, girl. All right, all right. Is, if everybody not hearing the echo, if you're hearing the echo, let me know. If you can see, let me know. Just put yes. Can y'all see real good? I'm gonna put her in the middle. Let me cut down this just a little bit. Yep, they can hear fine. All right, Marie, so we're gonna do it this way. Is that all right with you? Is yes, that okay? Thank you. you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, so tell me what the heck is going on. So this picture came out. I was told that the picture that you posted actually came from Tuscaloosa. Um, <laughs> uh, it came from Tuscaloosa County, or Tuscaloosa City. Um, it's the picture that you posted side by side from the actual video of the uh, the 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 actual uh, the person that was robbing the bank. And if you put the picture side by side. Your, your husband is bigger on one picture and small on the next, but I'm told that he has a small statue anyway. Can you explain when you saw, when, well, actually, could you, I know you can't go into a lot of details, but can you explain to the audience exactly what happened on last week? Well, on last Thursday, um, it rained bad that Wednesday, so school was delayed that Thursday for about probably two hours, I think. The bus didn't run to about nine. Um, my husband didn't go to work that morning because um, he had to put our son on the bus, and I had to be in Tuscaloosa at nine o'clock that morning for a job. And um, where actually I was going to pick up my uniform to start that job. Okay. The Saturday, the upcoming Saturday. Mm -hmm. And um, so he didn't work that day. And so um, I get back home probably about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Um, I started to do my little daughter hair because I have a two-year-old as well, you know. And um, I started to get her ready so we can get dressed to go out. And so my husband asked me to braid his hair. And so... I braid his hair to the back, you know, so we all can look presentable to go out. Right. And um, we were headed to the nursing home, actually, in Marion, to do an application. I went over there to apply for a CNA position at the nursing home. Okay. And um, But first, you know, we went to Greensboro first, Kristen, so we went to Jerusalem. We stopped at his mom's house. Um. We stopped uptown in Greensboro and got gas. Mm -hmm. I went to the middle station uptown and got food. Yeah. You know, I went to Jackson, Greensboro, got food. You know, all of this took place before we even went to Marion, you know. Right. And so um, I go to Marion, I do my application, and um, he sits in the car with the baby, you know, because that was the whole reason for him even going. Was so he could sit in the car with Ava so I could do my application. Ava's your daughter. Okay. We leave. Mm -hmm. Yes, my two year old. Okay. So we leave the nursing home. I stayed there maybe like 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, we GP'd our side way over there because we didn't even know where we were going. Right. You know, we're not familiar with Mary. And um, we go back to Greensboro, you know, and we stopped at the store in Greensboro again, you know. And we go home, you know, get Aiden off the bus, and we're getting ready to have us a normal evening at home, enjoying our family. And um, we get a knock on the door, and it's the police, and um, more officers than I ever seen, you know, in my life. Wow! Snatch my husband out the house with guns, you in, know, in front of your children. And, um, in front of my kids, you know, my kids are afraid because of this, you know. Yeah. Every time they hear a hard knock at the door, you know, they thinking that it's the police again with guns coming back to get me again, you know. Take your time. Take your time. They take us home. Long story short, my husband never came home. I come home. My husband never did come back home. And this makes the seventh day that my husband is in jail. 
based upon somebody IDing him, wrongfully IDing him off of this picture, the bank robber picture. Like, this is the only thing to my knowledge that got him in jail is somebody on the police force identified him as the robber. And I understand that everyone is human. And a lot of people thought that that was him at first glance. Yeah. And a lot of people have since then back and corrected themselves and said that they made a mistake. And that's all that I would even want the, the officer to do is to say that he had a human moment and he made a mistake. And, you know, all is, I feel like it could be fixed if he just said he made a mistake. He thought that that was him. And he was wrong. But, um, you know, this is our life. You know, yeah. they got our vehicle. Wow. That's why I'm late on this broadcast because I'm, I'm catching a ride with two kids. You know, it's, 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 this is just, you know, it's, this is crazy. Never in my life would I have thought that I would be living through this right now, you know. So so let's let's debunk some of the rumors. Let let's debunk some of the rumors that are okay. out there. Um one of which is that you guys were on some bunny clyde type stuff. Um and that you guys have been going around to different places. Uh is that my phone saying that? Okay. That you guys have been going around to different places um to doing this, but then the other day they had a similar guy to do the same MO that would happen in Mary. So let's debunk some of that stuff that's out there about you guys playing this and this is something that you want to do. And for those of you who have questions for Marie, feel free to type them in the comment and we'll definitely pull it up here on the screen. So let's debunk that uh, rumor that you guys have been going around doing a robbing spree across West Alabama. Well, um, <laughs> definitely have not been on a robbery spree. Okay. Maybe a job hunting spree, but definitely not a robbing spree, you know. Um, and I just feel like if there was any troops to that, his face would have definitely been plastered everywhere, just like it is now when, you know, they have the wrong guy. So um, there's definitely no truth to that, you know. Mm -hmm. No, that's not true. Okay. And um if, if if the police officer who said or the teller who said that that was him is watching uh tonight, what would your message to them be? My message to them is we are all human, you know. And it's life, you know, you make a mistake and it's possible, you know, you made a mistake. And I would just like for you guys to just come forward and have a heart and realize that it's not just his life alone that you are affecting. Lasiris has two kids at home and a wife. He is our sole provider for our family. Our whole lives is at stake here. And Lasiris has never, ever been tied to stealing, taking nothing, no crime. You know, like, it's, it's no record, no nothing. It's not even in his character to do nothing like this. And I just want y'all to just have a heart and realize that y'all made a mistake. And you really have the wrong guy. And our whole life is at stake here. We have to now go spend money on legal fees. Money that we didn't even have to begin with. You know, so I feel like all of this could be undone mm -hmm. if someone would just come forward and say they made a mistake. So I would definitely want y'all to come forward and say you made a mistake in I forgive you. I promise you I do because you're human, just like me. And I, and I could have made a mistake just like that. But I would have owned up to my mistake. I promise you I would have. 
Oh, uh, yeah, that's my message to the person. Uh, the person. All right. Uh, Constant Phillips says, "At do do you do y'all have an attorney?" Yes, we have an attorney. Well, I'm trying to retain this attorney, but I have to come up with the the money first before I can actually okay. attain this attorney. All right. The next uh, one says, um, she is smiling to keep from crying. I'm tired of our people suffering. God, will, when will you answer? And then Larry Long says, uh, one, two, three, shot the police. You know what? Larry, what did that button put on that mic? Okay, she ain't trying to hurt the police. She just want her husband to be free. Now, if somebody want to donate uh, towards uh, your efforts and what it is. How can they, do you have a cash app or anything like that that they can send money to to help you go through uh, with your legal fees and try to help you with your defense? Because you got to have a strong defense in this situation. You can't have no root of defense person. So is that any, is, is, do you have a cash app or anything that people can donate to? Well, I, um, I start up a go find me today so okay. there is a go find me and there's a link on my page okay several other members of my family's pages um there's definitely a go find me and i also would like to say that i appreciate all the donations that have been given to me you know right before i even start up the go find me appreciate it i appreciate all the people who actually Defended Lasiris's character. Yeah, I yeah. appreciate that. I appreciate everyone. Me picture yesterday when the guy robbed the bank again. Yeah. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys from my heart. I appreciate it. Now I'm going to share the link uh, to the GoFundMe on your um on, in, in the comment section. So uh so people can click on it and, and give. Lamb said, who is the attorney and we can send the funds there? Um I don't have his name offhand. Okay. But I will put it, I will go back and it. You you done got silent. Put your, get your hand from over the phone. The microphone I can't hear you now. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Okay. I will go back and edit the go find me. And I will put the attorney's information on the top of the go find me. Okay. So I will go back and edit that, but I don't have it on form right now. Okay. Uh Monica, Monica said, uh Monica, yeah. Uh Harris, she said, tell her to make sure uh your husband cooperates fully and make sure that he gives them no reason to further suspect him, such as finger pr fingerprints, DNA in a thicket capacity. Um, let me ask the question. He robbed another bank. Yeah, it's it's another guy um robbed a Wells Fargo on Mon Montgomery Highway using the same MO that was used in the Marion Bank robbery, where he walked in, no mask, handed the teller the note, and then walked out. It's the same MO. Uh Cynthia Williams says. Is that yeah. oh go ahead, go ahead. Cynthia Williams said, is that photo it just sound like the bank robber has hit a uh-huh? Okay, uh Cynthia Williams says, is that photo from the bank? How far was the bank from where you did the application? Why is he still in jail? And if no other evidence other than being identified, because you didn't talk about that they had fingerprints and all this stuff. It just said that somebody said that was him. So she wants to know uh, how far were you when you said you went to the nursing home? That's pretty far from the bank, I think. Uh, uh, and why is he still in jail? Well, I really don't know how far he the nursing home is from the bank because I don't even know where the bank is that was wrong, you know, so I can't answer that question because I don't know. Okay. That's a fair answer. All right. If you have any more questions from me, Marie, you're very brave to share your story and defend your husband as any wife should, uh, should, should do. 
I hate that you have to experience this, but I do hope that he get the justice, uh, justice that he deserve um, for for the crime. Now, you um, is, is your children safe and everything? Because people have been saying that your kids were taken from you and all that stuff. Uh, is is that accurate? <laughs> Shut him up. Shut him up. Shut him up. Now, I want you to tell them why you didn't want to go to school afterwards. Why didn't you want to go to school? After your daddy got arrested. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know why you didn't want to go to school. Don't be scared. Tell them the truth. Tell them exactly how you feel. Tell them exactly what you said. Don't be scared. Don't be scared, big man. He don't want. That's all right. That's all right. But but I appreciate you uh, killing them rules. Uh huh. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. All right, well, is there anything else you want to leave to people? Because I know you told me you, you can't go into detail. And I respect that I'm not going to do anything. And I want you to be able to tell your story your way in your own words. Um, hold up. Cynthia has another question for you. Um, no, that's it. Okay, uh, and uh, is there anything else you want to leave the audience before you go? You got about 73 people watching right now. Uh, 78 people watching right now. So uh, these 78 talk a lot. It's the black belt. You know, everybody talk. That's why I wanted to kill some of the rumors. Uh, and, um, and I want you to tell the people that are watching, uh, what, what, what message would you like to leave them? Uh, how can they better support you? And, uh, and what do you want to come from this? what I want to come from this first. I just want the word to be shared that this is not my husband on that picture. Um, he did not rob a bank. And, you know, I just, I know that, you know, once it's out in the media, you can never get this back. But I just kind of want to get up here and clear his name and just let the world know that my husband is sitting inside of the Perry County Jail on a case of mistaken identity. Lasiris Harris did not rob a bank. And, um, you know, I just, I, I really appreciate the positive support that I have been seeing on Facebook. I, I promise you, it, it warms my heart to get on Facebook and see where people are still sharing his picture and trying to get the word out that that is not my husband. And, um, you know, I just appreciate the support. And um, I, 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 I would like to maybe hold a fish fry on some Saturday just to, you know, try to continue to raise money. Yeah. You know, to get his legal fees paid. So um, right now I was thinking about having a fish fry. Okay. Out Newbern, um, at the Newbern store, park area Saturday. Um, I will update Facebook, okay. you know, with later details, but, um, that's where I'm going on. Um, every week it's going to be something I'm trying to raise as much money as possible to get my husband on the ground. They have him sitting inside of there on a hundred thousand. Wow. And, you know, they have our vehicle. I lost my job because of this. Wow. And, um, you know. I'm just, I'm just fighting to get my husband back out on the ground, and I'm fighting to clear his name, and I'm just fighting to take care of our family. All right, y'all, y'all heard this. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Lamb said you got his support. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you go to her page, her page is um, Marie Harris on Facebook. If you go, you go to her page. Um, and you can uh, see that she's going to be doing updates and give you information about how you can be able to donate towards her, her husband's legal fees and to her and her kids and family in time of support. If you have any further questions, I'm sure she'll be willing to talk with you and inbox her. Is, is, is that okay for me to say that? 
Okay. Uh, inbox her. Is she a to talk, to talk talk to you? Again, Marie, thank you for coming on tonight to share your story. I hope you got out everything that you wanted to. If not, call me again. We'll come back and maybe you get the app downloaded on time this time. <laughs> And uh, and we'll be able to have that conversation again. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, this is your story. Like I told you, you can share your story your way in your words and don't let anybody speak for you. So I appreciate you doing that. Uh, this is. Uh, oh, let me say. Oh, uh, Angeline Taylor. She said, make sure uh, you post your lawyer. Angeline Taylor. I said, make sure you post your lawyer. And Larry says, sue the city of Mary. That's what Larry said. Says, sue the city of Mary. Don't ask. Don't ask. Don't ask. I just want my hood. Okay. There you go. There you go. All right. So you guys click on the link. Go for me. It will stay up. Uh, you can visit the page. You can see. You can visit her page. Um, and you can find out more information. Thank you so much, Marie. For coming on, did you want to leave a number or anything? So if anybody want to call you, are you good? Um, well, just right now, um, I don't really have a phone because they have that as well. Dang. Um, just Facebook and okay. Yeah. All right. Larry said, "Be like Mike and just do it." Boy, shut up, Larry. All right, then. See you later, Marie. Thank you for sharing your story tonight. Thank you guys for tuning in to an episode of Portia Takes on the Black Belt and Beyond. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. From Montgomery to Hill, Green County and Paris, Portia taking on the Black Belt and she ain't scared. Marie gon' count us up the counter with Pops and Barbara. Interviewing everybody since the brother